brand new Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro Comp. Yes, that is right. We got the Hell Pro Comp, which not a lot of people have this, so it's pretty cool that we were able to get it. This one just has the 15 round mag, so I have it inserted and it's already open because I actually went and I shot it. So there's some bonus footage later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, so if you wanna skip ahead to that and not listen to me talking about the gun, just check out the description below. I'm gonna have a uh, timeline to where you can fast forward it and see that physical shooting. So pretty much like all uh, uh, Springfield products, you get a uh, case um, inside of a cardboard box really i mean they're pretty much all exactly this way so this is kind of like a, a magazine um loader i guess um looks okay it looks pretty beaten up honestly but i think it's just 3d printed so it is what it is For the unboxing, it is not very, um, I don't know, it's not very attractive. Uh, just, it's, it's very plain Jane. However, the gun itself is very, very impressive. So we're not gonna hold that against it. We're gonna have this against the uh, Glock 19. I know it's not really that exact compare, compare gun, but the whole purpose of that was just because they're not really that difference in size. So we compared this guy, the X Macro, we compared the MMP Shield, and we compared the Glock 19. So we got four good concealed carry guns, which are probably the hottest um, that everybody's kind of choosing right now. So, uh, you know, you can kind of see how they stacked out. But we'll leave that for the video portion right now. Let's just dive into the gun, what you get out of the box. So again, I just shot this, um, so it is a little dirty. You can see magazine's empty. It comes with some really nice steel, uh, like a stainless steel mags. Um, 15 round. Look really nice. Um, I actually have always liked the uh, Springfield magazines. So this gun essentially is exactly the original design from the original Hellcat, which is a little, little, I think it was a... 13 plus one uh, capacity. Then they came out with the Hellcat Pro, uh, which I think was a 3.7 inch barrel, nine millimeter, uh, 15 round, which is essentially this exact same configuration. As you can see, uh, has a flush fit mag, which I really like. Um, even though I have bigger hands, uh, this still fits in my hand really, really good. And actually, because they have this front lip and rear lip, no matter like how, like, even if I have a full purchase on the gun, as you can see, it did not pinch my uh, pinky, which is really nice. So really the big, big sell here is the compensator. Let's see if I can get some more light so you guys can physically see inside. You can kind of see, I mean, it is a very, very nice clean cut in there. Comes with a very nice set of iron sights, rear U-notch, and has a front tritium uh, night sight. Uh, it did get a little bit, as you can see, so we actually put, if I was gonna guess, we probably put 100, 100 rounds through it, so not a whole lot. Um, out of the box, it was fantastic, though. Generally, sometimes with ported or compensated guns, I mean, even with like, you know, Glock 19s and Glock 45s I bought, first, second, or third shot kind of gets, you know, a little sluggish and you have a hang up here or there. This one actually didn't have anything. Uh, and it goes either way. Like I've had my, my Glock 19X has never had a malfunction year to date or um, since I bought it to this day. Um, regardless of the, the ammo, I've had a, my M18 had a couple, uh, got reliable. I switched it up to a ported setup, which is a Norso setup and had a couple on the first, as soon as I, took it out and then haven't had any uh, since but nevertheless uh, this one ran perfect so I guess that's uh, definitely some some points to somebody who you know just wants ultimate reliability or just doesn't want the or wants a peace of mind and knowing like no matter even if it's new old whatever it's never going to have any malfunctions and it doesn't quite work that way um, the real way it works is sometimes some guns do have some hang-ups and they'll never um, have issues and then other guns that run fine out of the box maybe when they get 5,000 10,000 rounds through them they start to have some hang-ups here and there I mean, it's just kind of depending on what you have, what platform you have, 
and you know what kind of condition you keep your guns in that stuff's all gonna to matter to that aspect but nevertheless uh, a couple things that I wanted to point out about this gun. I really, really do like the overall size. It is the perfect weight uh, for me. It weighs a little bit less than the Glock 19. It, this one really, I mean, if we're really going to compare it, it is really a great competitor to the X Macro. Um, dimensionally, it's virtually the same. The X Macro actually is a little bit longer on the bottom, but that's only because it comes with a 17 round mag. So I'm not going to knock that because it's pretty cool. The 17 round mag on this one actually is longer than the X Macro's uh, 17 round mag. And, uh, I don't know why, but nevertheless, it is. And I will point out a couple things. This one has more of a softer texture to it. However, when I was shooting it at the range, I felt like this one I had a lot more control over. I felt like it was going nowhere. And then this one has some more defined, uh, it's like a flat, like a hard curve here. So one thing that I noticed when I had it in my hand, it almost feels like a flat, it makes it kind of like flat in the back as opposed to like a round. And although I didn't know how to feel about it at first, it really did help recoil management. It helped me not have to reposition the gun in my hand at all. And it felt just honestly great to have all around. So, um, you know, again, this is just a preliminary uh, 100 round uh, test. And I think the gun's fantastic. The trigger is extremely heavy if I had to knock it on anything, which again, for a Concealed carry gun, that's obviously what you want. But again, just trying to find some faults here. Uh, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna knock it on. So just so you can see. The reset. Okay, so we're here at the wall. It's pretty long. There it is. Okay, and then as we get closer to, you know, it's about halfway. It's not terrible. It's not like the like a, like a sig where it basically resets you back to the beginning. But so you come right here, and then you have a little bit of creep, and it's heavy though. It is super super heavy. And then you have the wall, and then break. So all in all, um, it is a very very defined wall. So I do like it. I did shoot it pretty well, um, better than historically some of the other out of the box experiences I've ever had with uh, with guns. I do like the bore axis on this. is a little bit. I don't I don't know if it's necessarily bore axis, but there's just something about how the P365X macro fits in my hand to where like I feel like I'm having to lift the front side up to get the shots where I want to go because I feel like it's smaller than it should be. And I think that these are just, I don't know if it's just the dimensions or the angle or whatever they put on these, but this one you can actually hold it like completely so that way it's completely like level on top and the shots just go exactly where I want to. That might be just a preference, a, a grip. I, I'm not really sure what that is, um, but I have noticed that on my X macro, I tend to, if I if I keep it 100% level, like all three sites are, are left to right level, they tend to go a little bit low, which is really weird because the SIG, the SIG for me out of the box is a way better, better trigger. And that's kind of what, you know, typically does send shots downward as, you, as you're pulling it with it being like super heavy, you'll, you'll sometimes, you know, snag them. And then uh, because the trigger, because you want to shoot it and you're trying to pull it faster than you should be. So, because speed costs accuracy. That is just something that, that physically happened. But all in all, so I've shot this gun 100 rounds. Um, I previously had the Hellcat original, and I really liked that. This one's definitely a huge upgrade. I feel like um, the mag release on this gun works really well. All the controls work extremely well. I feel like there is a definite great level of quality here um, for everything that you get. Um, I'm completely satisfied with this gun. Um, we'll keep going and give more updates as we obviously put more rounds through the gun. This is actually going to be my wife's concealed carry gun. So as we put more rounds through it, I'll let you know, um, you know, kind of what's going on, how she prefers it in comparison to the X macro, because she probably put like 4,000 rounds through her X macro. And then she's, you know, probably 80 shots through this one. I only shot like, you know, 20 shots through it. So. Um, but all in all, I mean, I was very impressed. I felt that the recoil was very, very little, especially shooting 115 grain. I mean, it was just completely, you know, over the top. I, I felt like the the uh, port inside the barrel as opposed to like chopping the barrel then having two ports is just a, a vast upgrade. And you can kind of see like it's shooting like uh, the actual propellant is coming backwards, like in front of the sight. And that doesn't bother me because like in a self-defense situation, as long as you clean your guns how you should, I mean, you'd have to shoot a hundred shots just for you to get any, and I can still see the U notch. I can still see the sights perfectly through the U notch. I mean, there's no issues there for me. I think really that probably wouldn't block out to you. Probably right around 300, 300 rounds. Which a self defense case scenario, if you're shooting three hundred rounds, you're you're at war. You're not in a self defense situation. So, all in all, 
Um, I really liked it. This has been my favorite concealed carry gun that I've gotten out of the box where I haven't had any gripes. I feel like the recoil was exactly what it should be. And, um, you know, I really like where it's going. I'm gonna get a little bit more used to the trigger. Um, Again, my wife's primarily gonna shoot this one, but if it goes well, this will replace my uh, concealed carry, which right now is uh, Glock 19. She do like that it has a spot for a light on the Picatinny reel, so that is a huge plus, so I will be adding one on there for her. But um, all in all, we'll keep going forward, and we'll also show you some uh, different configurations on how this thing fits. I mean, it, it, it's, it is kind of the biggest you would like to go. I think a Glock 19 is bigger than what I would like to carry. Like even like when I have a little bit more clothing on, um, again, smaller obviously is more comfortable. The less it weighs is the more comfortable. The heavier and bigger it is, the better it is to shoot. So it's kind of a catch 22, pick your poison, I guess. But for me, I really like how these guns feel. This one, the recoil management is excellent. So I think this one's just kind of the best of both worlds. Less recoil, really? Yeah, I really like the grip on it. I Do you like the grip more on this one than hand. this one? It fits better in my hand than okay. the macro. You can hold no, that I one feel better. like I can hold this one a lot better. I like this. Okay, area. my thumb and can fit really, really nice. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, sweet. And that was again. That's 124 grade. So now uh, we'll go down to 115. Trying to get you used to it again. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the X Micro, we're gonna go top left, and then we're gonna go top right with the Hellcat Pro, middle left with the M&P uh, Performance Center 3.1 inch comp, or uh, ported, and then we're gonna go with just a regular Glock 19 Gen 5 middle right. So the reason I'm comparing these guns is kind of to see what the, you know, kind of the, the best carry gun is per se. So just to give you guys some, some retrospect so this is the glock right and then the uh, sig and you can see they're very close in size you can see i mean they're pretty comparable so all of these guns are very close the smallest one is the mp uh ported but again this is kind of just like the battle of the concealed carries carry guns uh including the brand new hellcat pro comp which almost nobody has so it's pretty cool that uh, i was able to get it here today to do some testing for you guys and kind of see what you like now there is a little bit of a uh a little bit of a advantage for the Glock. Obviously it's a four, four inch barrel, so it's the longest one here. It's gonna have the thickest grip, so you're gonna have the most surface area, and then it also has a light underneath, which I think this light only weighs like maybe 1.4 ounces or two ounces or something like that. So it's not a huge advantage, but it definitely is. Weight under the barrel definitely helps. So, like I said, we'll start up top left with, uh, start top left with this guy, and then we'll move top right, middle left, middle right. Okay, so here we go.
some more ammo on this one than I did any of the other ones. And there's mixed match ammo, so it's 124, and then it backs out 115. And then the last four in here are 124. So that will be a little bit all over the place, but for just the sake of the video. That's a map that I I dipped a couple here, right here, so that's obviously not what you want, but again, I mean, I'm more used to like uh, softer triggers. I just put a new trigger in the Glock today. That's been helping me because I noticed like with the, with the OEM trigger, I tend to, to pull them down just because the pull is so long and you're kind of forward in the grip. So it just really comes from me shooting more event to 11 style uh, grip angle fire firearms. Um, which is why I'm so good with my staccato. However, I don't even know if I've uploaded staccato videos, but I would uh, make that a to-do in the future. So you can see here in the SIG, not too terrible of a group, about the size of my hand. Um, I did shoot one left that is that, um, notoriously known as anticipating for recoil. Um, so and that could be the case. I really don't shoot the X macro a lot. My wife does, it's her carry gun, so she shoots a lot. So she's actually a little bit better with it than I am. Um, I just don't shoot the X macro that much. Um, right here, Hellcat Pro. I would say this is by far, considering I'm aiming for the X, this is by far my best spread. Um, you know, it had a couple outside of my hand. However, majority of it, you know, was all within this, you know, eight, eight, number eight. So that's really good. Um, middle left, I was very surprised. I did dip one low, um, which, uh, you know, is what it is. I was shooting very fast with it. But I think this is actually, you know, in terms of like eight, this was my tightest spread that I had. This one was actually from the X macro. So really I had one out and then the rest of them were pretty much in the eight, one in the seven. So really uh, two that I'm not really that happy with, but the rest of them are really good. Uh, Glock 19, again, the trigger is not ideal for me, but, uh, and again, I don't really, I mean, I know I have Glocks on the channel, but I don't really have, uh, you know, a ton of shooting with locks. I mainly shoot SIGs. And with SIGs, I feel like um, you can have a little bit lower of a grip because the borax is a little higher. So it's just kind of reacclimating myself into, uh, you know, how to, you know, the difference between shooting a block and a SIG. So it's really what it is. But all in all, I mean, you can see that the bullets are pretty tight in here. So I wanted the seven, and these are all like literally in the line. So that was just me shooting too fast and not realigning myself. But all in all, uh, really good stuff. Again, this is only at 15. The whole purpose of this was mainly just to see what I was feeling about the recoil. So all in all, I was aiming, but I really wasn't. Um, this was not an accuracy test. Uh, I would have slowed down a little, uh, just a little bit. If it was, I would have focused more on realigning my sights. I really didn't. I was really focused on uh, the recoil. Really didn't even pay attention to my sights because it's only at 15 feet. I mean, it's incredibly hard when you've been shooting a long time to essentially miss at this speed. But all in all, I will say, for everything that I have here, I definitely did enjoy the Hellcat Pro once I understood. I think that the trigger is really, really heavy and the reset's a little bit longer, but for a carry gun, I think that's perfect. Um, other than that, I was really, really positively surprised with my MMP. These two felt pretty similar um, in recoil despite the uh, MMP being smaller. Uh, so I really like that, but I know that the Hellcat will only improve with putting on a weapon light and some more practice. So I think that really, uh, if I was going to rank these, uh, my I really like carrying the Glock, and I love the reliability, and I love the fact that it's not ported, uh, you know, and it's still able to compete here. Um, and they're all relatively close to the same size, so I really like that. And keep in mind, I did have some 124s in this magazine, so this one kind of did have the you know, shorter than the stick. I really do like the Glock 19, but I really think out of the rest of them, the M&P would take it for just size and concealability, and I love the trigger, but the Hellcat on recoil impulse, because flat out the Hellcat to me had the worst trigger, but I had the most enjoyability shooting the Hellcat. I feel like the grip was excellent. Um, it didn't go anywhere in my hand. Uh, I felt like my, my shooting hand really, really grooved in there, and I don't get that feel with the X macro, and I think that that's why I'm shooting low left, but I'm anticipating that shot, and that I'm gonna have to death grip it, and I'm not having that issue here. So that's why these shots are actually closer to the X, 
this hypothetically i mean if you're wanting to shoot somebody in the upper body now you're looking at shooting them maybe in the torso low like you know abdomen area so this is just something to keep in mind and this is how it went for me again i haven't even shot any of these guns in such a long time that uh you know this was kind of a, a pretty good result out of it especially with not aiming and just focusing on the report so hopefully this helped you guys